ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Rass in the song to the highest bidder. Got juice, got Hello everyone, I'm Charles Wong. We're back again with another product review when it comes to fashion, clothing, style, and all those great things. And of course, the image. What I have today is my Aaron Market sweater. The Aaron Market sweater. I've been waiting a long time to do this video. I was really excited about it, but I just wasn't able to do it. I finally did it. All right, here we go. As you do, as you know, and as you do, we will go online, we try to find clothes that look good, but the problem with buying things online is it's, it's, uh, it's a little bit difficult trying to get it exactly right because it's nothing better than trying something on. And so when we go online, we're taking a risk. And I took somewhat of a risk buying this online, but the chance of this, this particular sweater coming to me any other way damn near impossible. So what do I have here? Again, the Aaron Sweater Market. The Aaron Sweater Market, this is a traditional uh, Irish fisherman sweater. This has been stylish back and forth, off and on for quite a while, probably about a hundred years now. It's been stylish back and forth. And uh, I'm not sure if it's how, how stylish it is right now, but it is a really cool looking sweater. And what I like, what I like personally, I like to wear workable clothes or clothes that have not just quality, but has something behind it. What am I getting at? This is a traditional sweater that people wear in Ireland. They would go fishing with. They, they chose to wear this particular style and they also have this particular pattern that you'll see in it and it mean is meaningful in a sense because it's workable and it's practical it's it has no choice it has to be quality it has to be quality because of the way or the purpose behind it wearing things like that mean a lot more to me than a name a lot of you've never heard of the Aaron sweater market, and it is uh, is not a household name when it comes to clothing. However, if you ever look into getting a a um, fisherman sweater, a real fisherman sweater, this will come up. This will come up. So, what do I have here, and where where is how, what do I think about it as, as far as what it looks like and the quality. First of all, a really interesting and intricate pattern on the torso and it has workable buttons. Anytime you see a uh, clothing item and they have buttons, always see if the buttons actually work. When the buttons work, yeah, it's, it's 100%, it's higher quality. You might have the buttons sitting here but you may not have button holes or the buttons can't open and close, especially because this can stretch. And I know, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it can fit my head through my head. I don't have a big head, but it can fit my head through. Workable buttons, that's number one. And then, of course, the pattern. The pattern on here, that's why you want a fisherman sweater is because of the pattern. And then on, on top of that, you have the, the actual strength and the, the quality of the garment. This garment has the strength and the quality that you want. Little side note, guys, little side note. Don't put your uh, sweater on a hanger. It's not good for the sweater. I only have it hung up right now just for this video. No other reason. Don't hang up your sweater. So I'm going to put this on and show you what, how it fits me and what I like about it and a couple things I don't like about it as much. Like I said, when you buy things online, you're taking a little bit of a risk. Oh yeah, one thing I want to say. One thing I want to say before I put this on. This is what I wore when I 
wore it for the first time. This is, I've only worn it once, but this is what I wore for the first time. Um, I wear a long sleeve shirt under it. Now the weave, you can slightly see color, but it doesn't make a big difference. If you're wearing, you do want to wear something that goes with the whole outfit. This doesn't, this didn't throw the outfit off, but it, it, it could, if you're wearing, like if you wore green, the green may uh, shine, uh, not shine through. You can see the green through the pattern, especially at the bottom. However, um, if, if, if you can wear a neutral color or you maybe would want to wear a color that goes with the whole outfit. So if I did wear green, maybe I had a green accessory to go along with it to add a little bit of pizzazz and, 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 and fun to the outfit. All right, we're back. Here we are back with the Aaron sweater on. Now, what do I like about it? And what do I don't, what don't I like about it? I want to talk about what I don't like about it first. It is a little bit too baggy. It's a little bit too baggy. It doesn't look too crazy now, but if I do this, look at that. That's a lot of material to work with. A lot of material. I don't need, I don't need something that forgiving. That's what I don't like about it. And that's pretty much it. Now, the question is, well, why don't you just get a smaller size? Well, with a smaller size, I already can feel it pressing in, in, in really pushing and tightness on my shoulders. I feel a lot of, again, tightness on the shoulders. That tightness on the shoulders is due to just my size. I'm just that type of person. I'm mildly athletic in, in build. And if I bought a smaller size, it pro I know it'd be worse. It'd be absolutely worse. So I had no choice but to go with, or I had no choice not to send it back, because if I sent it back, I'd have a, probably a bigger problem. Now, what I like about it makes up for what, what is wrong with it is the pattern. The pattern, I love the pattern. I think this is a super high quality sweater for what you pay. This is easily a $300 sweater. The workable buttons, they work. That's, that's something that's a sign of quality. That's what you want. The pattern, you can't do this pattern and be a low, it's, there's no low budget way to make this pattern. There's no low budget way to make this pattern. All right, so that's what I like about it. Let me show you how I styled it. First of all, we have the accessories. Of course, you're not going to have this. Don't wear this with a gold chain or anything like that. That would look silly. It would look silly not because I think like a turtleneck this is a high neck. A turtleneck with a gold chain or a silver chain or anything like that actually looks good. But there's too many things happening here, especially with the buttons up top. So I would suggest don't wear that with it. It's just too many things happening. And then with so many things happening, you got to create balance. You want to wear things that are 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 toned down in a in a way. So I wore a earth tone beaded bracelet, which is the cat's eye, as you see here. Now this should not show up. This should be extremely subtle and come out just a little bit. A lot of good accessories are subtle, serious subtlety, but they should go with the whole outfit. And then with the watch. I am wearing my Bremont Alt 1. It's cream color. It's a cream colored watch. It's not, I don't want anything to stand out. I could have a blue dial watch that would stand out. I don't want that. I could have a uh, polished, polished uh, bracelet and case watch, which I have a Breitling that, that would do that. I don't want to do that either. That's just, it goes away from the complete look. It's like a work, workman blue collar look. It would throw that off completely, even though the cost of the watch is about the same. But to continue on, the boots that I'm, or the, I'm wearing uh, denim, I'm wearing jeans. These with jeans look perfect. It's a perfect combination of this workman light sweater with jeans. And then if you're going to wear the workman light sweater with jeans, you're going to wear boots. I'm wearing a more of a I forgot the name of it. I'll have to look it up. But this is more of a traditional or old school combat boots. Back in the day, there wasn't a big gap between what was work and what was for play or what was for combat and everything else. They kind of blended. You know, they didn't look that much different from each other. 
So that's why I'm saying this is like a combat boot. Anyway, so brown, brown, earth tone cream, that's what you should wear with something like this. And you don't need anything extra because not to say this pattern is loud, but the the uh, overall look has a lot going on and you need to calm that look down and have balance. And the shirt underneath is that same burgundy shirt. It, as you see, it doesn't, you can't see it through. You may want to wear a earth tone shirt, maybe a white, maybe a black, or maybe a brown if you want to. Or, or if you do decide to wear another color under the shirt and you're trying to, you want it under the sweater and you want it to uh, stand out, which is kind of, it's going to be difficult because it's, the, the weave pattern is, is pretty tight. It, it kind of can do that. But if you want to do that, make sure you, it's matching with something else. Make sure it's matching whether you, maybe you got green boots on. I don't know. Maybe you want to have a green shirt, long sleeve shirt underneath. Again, long sleeve shirt. This sweater is not, this sweater is not uh, itchy, but it's not soft either. It's not itchy, but not soft. So I would suggest wearing a long sleeve shirt with it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is the video. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something about the Aaron Sweater company, the Aaron Sweater uh, market. I enjoyed wearing this. I wore this uh, to an event with the wife. She enjoyed her sweater. I'll, maybe I'll do a video on that another time. 